Elon Musk reiterated Tesla's commitment to China, stating that the company will continue to invest in the country. He made this announcement at a pre-recorded question-and-answer session at China's Cyberspace Administration's Global Digital Conference. Mr. Musk has hailed the country that is actually vital to his electric vehicle company for the second time this month, calling it a global leader in digitalization. As per Mr. Musk's comments made during another pre-recorded webcast at the World New Energy Vehicle Congress less than two weeks earlier, Chinese automakers were the most internationally competitive. Mr. Musk was enthusiastic in his praise for the nation that is critically important for Tesla's electric vehicle business, and his remarks came as the company works to repair its image in China. He stated, I have a lot of respect for the various Chinese automakers who are driving these EV technologies. He stated that Chinese car makers are among the best at software, which he claims will shape the future of the vehicle industry during his three-minute speech. My honest view is that China invests a lot of resources and efforts adopting the latest digital technologies in various areas, including the automotive industry, Mr. Musk said in a recent video. China has become a global leader in digitalization in the vehicle industry, and Tesla will continue to boost its investment and research and development efforts in China. However, negative coverage of Tesla has also grown in China over the last year. In one high-profile case, a woman claiming to be a Tesla customer protested an apparent brake failure in her car at the Shanghai Auto Show in April. Tesla was accused of having an arrogant and aggressive approach in China, according to official media, after a video of the incident went viral on Chinese social media. But now, Tesla has been attempting to repair its image in China following a barrage of negative headlines. The corporation has been under governmental scrutiny for its privacy practices, as well as several recalls in China. Some state and military employees are apparently restricted from driving Tesla electric vehicles for safety reasons. Mr. Musk put a special emphasis on data protection in his speech and outlined the many types of data that are stored locally at Tesla. We are pleased to see a bustle of fresh laws and regulations targeted at enhancing data handling, Mr. Musk remarked. In the past, the corporation is said to have broken ground on a big Shanghai facility. According to the reports, Tesla sold 44,264 made-in-China automobiles by August 2021. There were 31,379 for export, which marked an increase over July's 32,968 made-in-China automobiles sold, and June's 33,155 units sold. Local EV companies like Xpeng Incorporated, Li Auto, and Neo are also posing a threat to Tesla in China. Last month, shipments of China-made cars to domestic purchases increased, and exports from the company's Shanghai factory, largely to Europe, increased. As a result, Tesla's overall China shipments increased by 34% from July to 42,264 units in August. According to some sources, Tesla momentarily suspended some tasks at its Shanghai factory last month due to a global shortfall of semiconductors. Because of the shortage of crucial chips, a portion of the production line at the China plant was shut down for nearly four days in August. Tesla built a data center in China to keep all the data generated by the businesses there, which include manufacturing, sales, service, and charging. All personality identifying information is kept secure in China and is never sent abroad. Data is only permitted for international transfer in very rare instances, such as spare parts orders from overseas. Tesla's acting in response to new Chinese government regulations governing how car makers with cameras and sensors must collect and use the data. Tesla also claimed in a statement made that it was glad to hold discussions with industry experts regarding new data security requirements for automobiles in the country. Data security in automobiles is critical, 
Tesla will make every effort to maintain data security by implementing automotive data security management. In addition, Tesla, despite its dominance over the developing electric vehicle market, has been struggling to gain traction in Japan, a country that Mr. Musk placed on a pedestal early in the automaker's history. Even though Tesla Model 3 is still the best-selling imported electric car in Japan and Tesla may undoubtedly benefit from increased sales there, Tesla hasn't been having the impact it had been hoping for. Some hints as to why this might be the case have recently surfaced, but something significant may need to occur first. The first Roadster sports cars transported to Asia didn't go to Shanghai the day after the electric manufacturer went public in June of 2010. Instead, they traveled to Yokohama. Four years later, during a lavish event on the 52nd story of a Tokyo skyscraper, Tesla's CEO handed out the first Tesla Model S vehicles. Mr. Musk, as is his tradition, set the bar high on both occasions. He saw Japan as a natural market for the Roadster and predicted that it would eventually become Tesla's second largest market. During the Model S launch, he stated that the country was one of the Tesla's most important markets in the globe. However, Mr. Musk's expected success has been eluding him. Tesla is the only company that asks the Japan Automobile Importers Association not to publish its sales data since it does not reveal how many vehicles it delivers in the country. An industry official familiar with the figures who asked not to be identified due to the sensitive nature of the information, however, provided some rough estimates. Tesla's accounted for almost 90% of the imported electric vehicles purchased in Japan last year. However, this was a massive chunk of a little market. The total number of units acquired was only 1,000 378. A Tesla owner in Japan recently offered some advice on the R Tesla Motors forum, outlining why the Tesla Model 3 and other Teslas have not garnered the same kind of popularity in Japan as they have in other areas of the world, for instance, Norway. The good news is that many well-known people in Japan drive Teslas. Hiro Mizuno, a Tesla board member, tweeted about the pop group Fragrance and Shohei Otani, a member of Japan's Major League Baseball team, all publicly exhibiting their Tesla enthusiasm. Akira Shindo, a professional surfer from Japan, is also enjoying some positive sensations from his Tesla. Most of the Japanese city parking lots are the type seen on Tokyo Drift, where each car gets its own platform and the maximum width is usually 1,850 mm. Every time you want to go shopping in your automobile, the smallest model with a margin of 1 mm demands some virtuoso parking expertise. For city inhabitants, the Model S, the Model X, and Model Y are not even a consideration. The highways in Japanese cities are not like those in most American cities, where they are straight and wide and stretch for miles and miles. Most Japanese cities and neighborhoods were planned and highly populated, some even overcrowded, years before automobiles were introduced, and as a result, they feature small roads with many bends that are not ideal for cars to begin with. Moreover, because there are no parking spaces at work, most people do not commute by automobile. For the most part, public transportation suffices, which is why they don't own vehicles in the first place. Tokyo, in fact, has only 0.23 vehicles per inhabitant, the entire prefecture, not just the city. Some homes have a parking spot, but no vehicle. Let's face it, walking or biking is a much less expensive, emissions-free form of transportation than an EV, and the nearest metro station is only a 5-minute walk away. Moving forward, a smaller Tesla may certainly benefit Japan. Tesla has not yet announced an official launch date for this smaller and less expensive Tesla. Elon Musk has admitted that a $25,000 small Tesla hatchback is on the way. Tesla has several new cars in the progress, including the Tesla Cybertruck, the next-generation Roadster, and the Tesla Semi, but it hasn't made much headway in getting them to the market. However, 
There has been speculation of a smaller, less expensive Tesla car, possibly a compact hatchback with a starting price of $25,000. Tesla's already receiving record orders and several places have been reported to be sold out for months. The company can't possibly create enough vehicles to meet the demand. Clearly, bringing more vehicles to the market at this time would only exacerbate the situation, but Mr. Musk can do it, and we all know it. Nonetheless, Tesla CEO has stated that a future tiny Tesla vehicle is a fine concept. In fact, the business has already attempted to attract Chinese designers to work on the vehicle. The car will be designed and manufactured in China, but it will be sold all over the world. And now, check out this video shown on your screen for more recent Tesla news.